Hey techies, welcome to my channel. We will build your travel augmented generation for chatting with PDFs using Llama 3. Discover how to extract answers from PDFs in just 8 steps. First, let's install the necessary packages. Open your terminal and run this command. I have mentioned the versions which I am using. I have already set everything on my system, that's why I chose requirement already satisfied. Moving on with that, after installing the packages, we need to pull the Llama 3 model in our local system so that we can work with that. I am using olama run llama 3 command to pull the Llama 3 model and work with it. I have already in, uh, set it up on my system. That's why I chose send a message so that I can chat with Llama 3 model. After that, we need to set up our environment by importing SSL modules from Langchain. This is the foundation for our PDF's Q&A system. Next, we define our PDF file path and specify the local Llama 3 model settings. I, you need to mention your PDF file path here and model name as Llama 3 and nomic embedded text for embeddings. I am using a PDF of my own research that is estimating countries with similar maternal mortality rate using different clustering analysis methods and pairing countries with identical MMR. This is one of my research aiming to reduce maternal mortality rate globally. If you want to use this PDF, you can view it in the description link that I have already shared and then I have mentioned or or if you want to use your own PDF, just mention the file path here. And then moving on, we need to load our PDF document using PyPDF, PyPDF loader. Watch as the data is retrieved and prepared for processing. I'm loading the data, splitting into chunks and uh, saving it, saving it all together. With the split we split the chunk document into manageable chunks for efficient processing using recursive character text splitter. With the text chunks ready, we create a chroma vector store using Olama embeddings. This step is crucial for semantic representation. Here we are creating a persist directory called data. Here, all the chroma vector essentials will be stored. Documents, I'm giving the all splits and embedding. I'm passing on the model embedding, which is already mentioned, and process directory as data. Then, creating the vector store. Here, I'm assigning the LLM. Um, I've already mentioned the local model as Llama 3. Then, retriever as vector from vector store as retriever okay then followed by that we define a prompt template for structuring interactions and set up a memory mechanism to keep track of conversation history defining the prompt template and memory handling assigning the template prompt and then memory um, this will help our our chat Q&A system in order to respond proactively with the previously asked questions. It will use the previously asked questions and then re reply to our questions accordingly. Moving on, we next configure the retrieval, retrieval QA chain, integrating the language model, retriever and memory. This is where the magic happens. Configuring a retrieval QA chain, assigning the LLM, retriever and all those yeah there we go finally we set up a query to find specific information from the PDF we then invoke the QA chain letting the RAG model retrieve and generate precise answers here's the exciting part here I'm gonna query what is the aim of the research this is my query so I am storing it in the response part. The response part will have a query and the uh, response image, uh, response text. 
so we will view it here this is one of the method uh, to query our LLM model and there's another way also invoke method this will also give the same um, answer same method but this is you are using invoke and here we are using a different different approach yeah this is done and the response is here the query is this and the result is this yeah it shows we are using it appears the aim of the research is to provide visualized i dimensional data using tnsc a tool called python mon uh, python programming language yes as a chatbot yeah there we go this is also this also gives the same result yeah that's it try it out and revolutionize your data interaction thank you so much if you found this video helpful remember to hit that like button share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more data science tutorials check out the links in the description for the data set source code used in this video and elaborated medium article link as well happy coding everyone